hello everyone welcome back to another tutorial how you doing hope you're doing good so today we're going to be making a sleeve i'm going to be showing us how to make this beautiful sleeve here we'll be cutting out two pieces we'll use the small one to lap the normal sleeve and uh, i'll be folding it inside also with that place here i'll be adding elastic here and the damp part also i'll be adding elastic here i already made the blouse so I decided to show us how to make the sleeve. This is the fabric I'm using. So this is a 30 inches fabric. Folded into two is 15 inches. It's folded into two 15 inches. And the length is 30 inches. Normally her sleeve length is um, 23 inches. So instead of me cutting out 23 inches, I cut out 30 inches. So the 7 inches will be for hemming at the bottom and for folding it at the upper part. And if you look at the one in the picture, it's a little bit higher than the, the blouse. But this is 30 inches folded into two. So that I will minus her upper bust measurement from the round shoulder measurement. Her round shoulder is 44 inches and her upper bust measurement is 26 inches. 44 minus 26 is 18 inches. So because I'm making two sleeves, I will divide the 18 inches by 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9 inches. So 9 inches will be for the sleeve because as it's folded into 2, I will have 4 and a half inches. It's a bogus sleeve. The sleeve is not fitted. It's bogus. It's, I want to have a smoky effect here. So I'll be making it 10 inches plus 1 is so in allowance. That is 11 inches. So after adding elastic to it, you come back to the normal 9 inches. I'll mark 11 inches here yeah so because I'll be folding it inside five inches I supposed to be marking five inches right from here come down five inches then I will take here the armhole but because I'll be folding it I will mark 10 inches then the five inches I will use it to fold it inside so I'll mark 10 inches now So I will cut this out. So I'll open it up. Then I will fold this one inside. After folding it inside, I will still have that my five inches. Yeah, this is five inches. Fold it like so. So I'll pin it first then uh, before I will bring out my elastic. Yeah, this is 22 inches. So I will use them um, 8 or 9 inches. Okay, I will cut out 9 inches elastic. So I will go down 3 inches right from here, right from the upper part, I will go down 3 inches and I will stitch my elastic here. So I will sew here first, sew it on the wrong side. I will run a stitch on top of the elastic. As I'm stitching it, I will pull it just to have this uh, smoky and gather effect. And before I will do that, I will take about one and a half inches and hem the bottom part. So I'll finish attaching the elastic to the upper part. So we'll be adding this one here. So remember I said we're cutting out two pieces. So this is about 11 inches wide. Folded into two is five and a half inches. So I will join them together here. And there is as wide as the normal sleeve so after sewing it here i will turn it inside out the 
it's I'll use the pressing iron to straighten it. I'll place it here. This is where I'm going to be attaching the elastic. So the elastic will be here. So right from here, right from the bottom, I will go up 6 inches. And this is where my elastic will be in the mid part here. So I'll pin them together. So after pinning them together, I'm going to be adding elastic to the mid part because I want it to be as smoky as the upper part. Her round sleeve here is about 11 inches, but I cut out about nine and a half inches elastic. This is the right side. So after pinning it here, this is the right side, and I will turn this to the to the wrong side. Now look for the midpoint. Still do it the same way I did to the front one. So I'll pin it here. First, I will stitch here. Then after stitching it, as I'm sewing it, I'll be pulling the elastic just to have that smoky effect also here. So I will take it to my machine and sew it. So I finish attaching the elastic to the damp part. This is the wrong side. And this is the right side. So I'm going to be joining the sides together. So I'll go ahead and sew the side together. So I'll finish uh, with the sleeve. I'll finish sewing the both sides together. I'll turn it. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how you can attach it to the blouse. I've already um, sewn the blouse. So I will take the side seam, match it with the blouse side seam. So this will be two inches higher than the normal blouse. So I will attach it to the armhole. Match the size seam together. I'll take this to this side. I will just sew it, sew it here. So I'm going to be cutting out some parts, some of this design. I will place it here. So I will cut out one for the sleeve. I will use this to cover the place I added elastic to here. I will cut out about one or two. I will also use this to design this and take it to the back side. I'm gonna be using needle to stitch it to the to the blouse. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my tutorial, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time here, you're welcome. And if you've been with us, you're also welcome. If you're new here, please subscribe, like, and share my video. I love you guys. I will see you in my next one. Bye.